G'day and welcome to another edition of the MC NFL Footy Show. Looking back on last week's action, my name's Andy. I'm here with the great man Shane Anwell, the operations manager of the competition. Back for another round, mate. Yeah, another one down, and uh, not many more to go. Yeah, we're uh, we're not too too far away from finals as the. We look back on some cracking games last weekend, and the first one we'll look at is Molden getting their second win of the season, 10-11-77 to Avoca, 7-7-49. What a game. Yeah, it's a bit of a turn-up. I don't think many people would have picked that. Uh, Avoca, though, they're uh, just beset with injuries and unavailabilities at the moment, so they're doing it uh, really tough, and I think it showed up on uh, on Saturday with Molden getting the win. Yeah, from, from all reports, they were missing up to 13 players mm. from their senior team, and then uh, Al Meldrum... Uh, who has recruited the club uh, for this season. He uh, he had a hamstring injury and he was nursing it down in the forward line, so he couldn't move too far either. So they didn't have too many fit players on the day. No, no, it was a bit of a struggle for them and uh, showed up in the end. And the Bombers, uh, the margin sort of flattered Avoca in the end. The Bombers were 53 points up at three-quarter time. Uh, Avoca kicked four goals in the last turn to sort of uh, bring the, the margin back. As uh, Carisbrook, 22-7, 139, defeated Newstead, 3-6, <clears throat> The Redbacks, they're just uh, going along very nicely. Yeah, and uh, I think I said last week, uh, Carisbrook won't lose uh, two in a row. And, uh, you did say that, mate. <laughs> um, uh, this was always going to be the result. I think the margin might be a bit more than certainly what Newstead would have expected. Um, they've been going along uh, pretty well um, here and there, up and down. But, uh, yeah, it was uh, certainly uh, Carisbrook was one of the top teams really flexed their muscles on the weekend. They certainly did a 115-point margin there. The Redbacks had 10 goals to nil at half time, and they led it 18 goals to one at three-quarter time. So they uh, certainly had a great day of it there against the poor Kangaroos. Speaking of flexing their muscles, Royal Park, 26-13, 169, defeated Denali, 3-4-22 by 147 points. The Tigers roaring very loudly in that one. Uh, yeah, they certainly did. It was a tough day for Denali. I'll, I'll just on a, uh, a note there, it's uh, it's not a senior football review, but well done to Denali on the weekend. They won all of their netball games, I think, which was for the first time in a long while. So they've done well on the netball field, uh, on the netball court, rather. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was a tough day at the office in the football for them, certainly. Well, at least they can take some, um, I guess, some positive uh, positivity about that day with the with the girls having a great performance, and that that no doubt carries with the, to the to the rest of the club as well, and hopefully can inspire the boys going forward. Yeah, most definitely. As, t- as we highlight, a tough day um, for for Denoli. Uh, the Tigers kicked eight goals in the second and final term, so they certainly love one end of the ground. They did a job nicely. Uh, big game, uh, which could have gone either way, it was Trentham, 13-5-83, defeating Lexton, 7-10-52. The Saints led 27-18 to at halftime in a low-scoring encounter before kicking away in the second half. Uh, yeah, they uh, certainly did. Um, Lexton, um, they're just hanging into the eight at the moment. These are the sort of games they need to, I think they're probably going to have to work hard for uh, coming up over the next uh, six weeks um, for them to certainly make the finals or to, to play a little bit higher up the ladder. Um, look, they uh, they certainly tried, but uh, I think uh, a little bit of more class there with Trentham showed out in the end. Well, they certainly uh, needed to get back on the winners list uh, as well because to, as they looked forward to um, cementing their spot inside the top four. Dr- Jake Keo, who's done his league best and fairest hopes, no harm. He kicked six goals for the winners in another impressive effort. Uh, Natty Bialba, 22-6-138, defeated Maribor over 7-10-52 by a hefty margin. I'd... Many would have backed the Swans to win this one, but not by such a big margin against the Rovers, who have been pretty good this year. No, that was a bit of a turn-up. I think the margin for everyone, uh, 22-6, certainly great accuracy there, mm. and uh, well done to them. And I, I think they had something like 13 different um, goal scorers across the day, so it was a good team effort, uh, spread well, and uh, Natty Bialaba certainly, as I said earlier, one of those teams flexing their muscles as uh, we head into the year. Exactly, mate. The margin was uh, was only three goals at uh, half time before the Swans kicked fourteen goals to three in the second half and uh, and did as they pleased. Speaking of doing as they pleased, mate, Navarre twenty eight twenty three one ninety one defeated Campbell's Creek nothing donuts fifty one scoring shots to nil. What a performance! Uh, yeah, look, uh, Navarre all uh, all class there on the day to uh, to keep a team scoreless for the day. Um, poor old Campbell's Creek, they did have a tough day. They uh, they didn't have much luck at all there. Um, but uh, Navarre, I don't know that there's much more we can add to that. I think the scoreline just uh, just says where Navarre are at and um, what they uh, they're sort of gonna they're capable do of. where they can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're very very capable of uh, sending a strong message. 
to uh, the rest of the competition. They certainly did that there. Uh, the final game we'll look at for this edition of the show, Talbot 9-6-60 defeated Harcourt 8-10-58 in a, a little bit of an upset given that Harcourt have been in some impressive form. They moved their way to fourth position of the ladder and then that sort of brought them down to earth a bit, uh, losing a heart stopper by two points. Yeah, well, Harcourt had that great win last week, of course, and uh, then uh, turned up this week and uh, Talbot, I think they'll chalk this down as a, as a great win as well. Uh, Talbot need to win these games um, for them to, to be playing well in finals and I think they're going to get a, a lot out of this that um, Harcourt are, are a top four team at the moment and for a good tight win like that that's a great credit to Talbot. Definitely right there it's a sensational performance by them and that can uh, hopefully push them further up the ladder that, that did uh, push them into the, the uh, top eight as well which is outstanding but we'll talk a little bit that, about that a little bit later on in the week. Thanks so much for joining us for this edition of the show Shano. We look forward to catching up with you later on in the week. Pleasure as always.